how's it going? I have a quick movie recommendation for you tonight. If you have Netflix, I'm going to recommend that you check out The King. The King. It is a period drama, a historical drama, and it has everything to do with the tone of this month and probably cycling out largely to the year, a theme of the year, which is loyalty. And it has an interesting cast, it's very well acted. Um, if I could let's jump over and see Timothy Chalamet, Joel Edgerton, who helped produce it along with Brad Pitt, and some others. Robert Pattinson is in it, I know. Uh, Sean Harris, he's just got a great voice for the roles that he plays. Um, yeah, so anyways, this movie, it was, um, an expert way of highlighting the value of knowing who you are, your vision, sticking to it, and knowing who's around you. Um, not just trusting people because of their presence. Um, presence doesn't equate to loyalty. And in many ways it can equate to treachery because it's usually the person close to you, right? Closest to you who's um, all in your business that can kind of really stir the pot the most. And so in this whole theme, this guy, this young king, um, Hal, son of King Henry IV, this horrible king who's just out here starting his own rivalries, just taking blood and just causing havoc all over, doesn't give a crap about how he rules, it's just his tyranny over and against, and he falls sick and whatnot, as every one of these stories goes, it's about who's next to inherit the throne. And he's got this son, this this young Hal, who just wants nothing to do with his father. He doesn't even want the throne. He's just like, it's a joke. It has, you know, I'm just going to go live my life my way. How he chose to do that was what we talk about a lot in my, um, in our work videos, is when you kind of want to, um, when you have something that you're suppressing in your subconscious, you end up projecting the exact opposite of whatever it is that you um, have not addressed internally and he goes out and he becomes this drunkard, this this playboy kind of character that can't really be taken seriously. But when the time comes, I guess, um, spoilers, he's gonna obviously be taking the throne and he's got this pressure on him now to be taken seriously, to have earned the respect and not to have also inherited the reputation of his father. That part he handles really easily. He seems to not have any problem like cleaning up his act and leaving behind the females and the alcohol, whatever. What happens to be the hardest is actually getting these people to accept his, um, his beliefs and his, his true heart of hearts, he feels that war is not necessary, that peace can happen, and he's got all these people around him that are pushing him to fight, that are pushing him to be um, quote-unquote strong and show force and not to let other kings, you know, and, and kingdoms laugh at him or take not take him seriously for being so young, and, and he actually gets manipulated by his own court, his royal court. And it's just a really good example of this whole thing when it comes down to it. He ends up, you know, being pushed to the point where he even, you know, off with their head. There's people there that, that die because he goes on the word of others who, um, his, uh, the character's sister says it best and she, she, she tells him in the room when he's getting kind of his presents his gifts for becoming the new king and she says I looked at the faces of the men around the room and they all looked happy but I saw their own kingdoms 
behind them in their eyes, they have visions of their own kingdoms, you know? So people have their own agendas, right? And sometimes you don't see it because they're, they're, they're just right in your ass, constantly there, smiling, laughing along with you and, you know, telling you sweet nothings. But he, when he gets rid of those people and he goes back to where he came from and he gets the guy that was actually the most loyal to him, who's Joel Edgerton, he comes and he makes him his, his advisor to lead his army, which when he gets tricked into this war, he ends up being the best person to have on his side. They even tried to ridicule and criticize this man. And he just ended up being such a man of integrity and the plan that he uses to go ahead and go to battle with this, uh, they're, they're, he's the king of England and I guess they go up against France or, yeah. Anyways, it's worth a watch. It's, it's worth a watch and taking notes on, um, loyalty and how it's it's just like that today we've got our own kingdoms that we're looking out for which is ourselves our own temple our own godship and not only do you have to protect your body your physical body with who you let into your space and who you let around you it's your mind your your practices and everything, like I talk about cleansing the things around you, your your area, when you let someone in your home, their vibration, it lingers. What you listen to, the music, it lingers. Um, the message that you're constantly telling yourself, it lingers, it spreads, and everything has to be in harmony, a match with what's in your heart of hearts, and you gotta go with that, trust that inner knowing. And uh, kind of forget about trying to prove yourself to these people because these people are so corrupt they don't even know the levels of their own corruption sometimes. So if you have few around you, but you know those few are solid, that's far better than having a freaking slew of admirers that are just empty and fleeting, you know, or fake. I'd say. So this is like, um, yeah, just head over to Netflix. I don't care what you're doing tonight. It's not important. Watch this and actually um, get inspired. <laughs> so I think that was it. Yeah. I'll end with my little affirmation about this very thing. Today, let the wolves reveal themselves as wolves. The sheep be revealed as sheep and the eagles fly to ever higher heights above it all due to their wisdom to know the difference. And that difference is love. Have a good night.